close to Casey Key is historic Spanish Point. While the name would lead you to believe that there may be some connection here to Spain, or maybe to Ponce de Leon, the funny thing is, there isn't. John Green Webb first learned about this location from a Spanish trader he had met while in Key West. Mr. Webb bought the site to raise citrus and sugar, and he named the site Spanish Point to honor the good advice of the trader. Since our parents took us to Florida when we were kids, I've always had this fascination with Spanish moss, and I love to watch it swinging in the breeze. But there's so much more here to see. Jim and I were both intrigued by this, the largest fern either of us had ever seen. It's huge. This big thing it is an ear tree, and it gets its name from its unusual seed pods, which are green and look like human ears, and despite its huge size, it's actually related to the pea family, and like peas, the seeds of this tree are edible. I really enjoyed just walking around and seeing the different plants and flowers on the grounds. Like this firecracker plant, it doesn't have any leaves. The blooms are just bright red like firecrackers. And this tree, it looks like it's growing cotton. I don't know what it is, but it does look like cotton. And just the sunlight filtering through the trees. But look here, look closely at the edges of this stalk. Now I know why it's called a saw palmetto. That's pretty neat. And these giant elephant ears. I try to grow them at home, but they never last long enough to have a bloom on them. And then there were these osprey flying around looking for fish. They were neat. But most surprising were these animals climbing around in all of the trees. At least now, though, I know where Jill gets her tree climbing skills from. And those trees, by the way, those are ponytail palms. Huge.
So if you're near Sarasota or Casey Key and you enjoy the outdoors, stop in for a while at the Spanish Point. I think you'll enjoy it. Until next time, guys, take care.